This is a series of 100 films about Japanese foods that I've eaten, and this is a film about things to munch on when you're boozing. One of the things widely believed in Japan is that you shouldn't be drinking alcohol without eating something, which sounds like a good idea, aji. It's probably more healthy not to be drinking at all if you prefer to live your life like an AA member or a child, aji. To be honest, a straight-up bar that only serves alcohol is pretty rare in Japan. It's like a specialized form of high-end establishment where the bartender wears a bow tie. But even if you don't go to the bar and say, prefer to stay home and drink in front of the TV, watching Sumo Digest or professional women's bowling, you're going to need snacks, especially if you're an old Japanese man. Countless nights I was at the 100 yen store and saw a weathered old Japanese guy purchasing a couple of tall boys of Suntory malts, and they always made sure to buy an assortment of snacks. Aji. So, I made a list to inform the outside world about what old Japanese men need to eat. I'm not saying you'll love all these things, but at least you'll know where you stand. I called my list the top six old man boozing snacks I saw in Japan. Number six, peanuts with orange bits. I have no idea what the orange bits are, but you'll be eating a lot of them. This snack called kaki no tane is a staple of every office, soccer club, and cherry blossom viewing party. It's bland, but not unpleasant. Number five, wasabi peas. They have both kick and crunch. They add quite a bit of flavor when matched with most popular bland Japanese lagers. Wasabi, as most people know, is a plant that grows in the bed of streams, and its derivative paste is also added to sushi. But it's also a snack food. Who knew? Number four, senbei. This is a wide-ranging term for rice crackers. They're light and fluffy and come in a variety of flavors, and you can chow through the pack and still have lots of room for other snacks. Number three, consomme potato chips. For whatever reason, consomme is the most popular potato chip flavor in Japan. And the potato chip section is pretty big in Japanese grocery stores. That said, the entire time I lived there, I never saw a single Japanese person eating potato chips. Number two, smoked cheese. This is what it sounds like, smoky flavored processed cheese. Whatever chemical process it's been through means it doesn't need to be refrigerated. When I think of old drunk Tokyo men, I think of smoked cheese. And finally, that's right, you guessed it, number one, dried squid strips. These are a great time exercising your jaw muscles. Less salty and fishy tasting than you'd expect. They're more like a sea-based beef jerky. Bonus. Gyoza and ramen. This is cheating a bit, since you have to go to a restaurant to get it. But no old man drinking night is complete without an order of gyoza and ramen. The soup in the ramen recharges your electrolytes and the gyoza soaks up the alcohol. This is how to finish a night of boozing, all right. The word of the day. The word of the day is aji. It means taste in Japanese. As it's only a noun, it's used to describe specific flavors, as in aji ga sweet or aji ga chocolate. So if you want to remember this word, feel free to watch this video 10 more times and repeat along with me, or at least that's what I do. Next time. So that's it until next time, when we look at a type of Tokyo restaurant where you pay to cook the food yourself, and it still f seems like a good deal for your money. So until then, sayonara.